to Carter's Tiny Home Shed. Today, we received, well, we didn't receive it today, but we have another box from Special Delivery. Taste of Home. Uh, we're gonna open it. Has it been opened already? Well, I think it has started to be. Joshua is making himself a delicious ramen. Oh, Joshua, show me the package of your, your ramen. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Oh, you do it away? Oh, I just... Oh, you don't have any more? We'll get it out of my room. Oh, she can't reach it. It's in the closet. Oh, wait, is this one recording on? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> wait! Oh, it looks so interesting! So, the last uh, box that we received from Special Delivery at Taste of Home, we received this wonderful cookbook. We've made three recipes so far of uh, the pumpkin biscuits. Mm. Uh, what else is this? Oh, this is the ramen Doc was making. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have him show us his presentation in the bowl when he's done with it. Mmm, Mama's Ramen. Um, so let's see what we have going on this one, or this time. Do you want to read the paper? Okay. So... Oh wait, let's start with this. 20% off a Taste of Home shop. Thank you for purchasing the Taste of Home special delivery box. As a preferred customer, we'd like to treat you to 20% off your next order at shoptasteofhome.com. Visit shoptasteofhome.com forward slash 2hbox and enter code boxshop at checkout. Okay. Let's see what my mom is thinking about canceling our, this membership because it's like $50. Uh, she no longer has money to burn. Wow. Oh, but this 20% off is kind of enticing. That's what tax and maybe a portion of the delivery uh, fee, the postage. Well, we'll see. Well, this special delivery is all about soups and stews. My favorite. I made a pumpkin soup with uh, basil and oregano. Arugula? Pesto. It was good. So let's get started. First thing is what? Oh, yeah, what? Oh, what is it? Here, how about you read it and I'll pull out what the item is. Okay, let's go with this. This is a Swiss peeler. We have several of these. <laughs> but they are awesome. different Swiss. Yeah. Ours came from the Dollar Tree. We so use it daily to peel fruits and vegetables. That's it. One piece of advice. Although carbon is still a stronger, more durable than stainless steel, it's more prone to rust. Oh, so this does not yeah. rust. Oh, that's a step four. They want you to they recommend not putting it in the dishwasher. Instead, wipe it clean and dry after each use. It's from Kuhn Rakan. Kuhn Rakan. Yes. K-U-H-N-R-I-K-O-N. Feels pretty sturdy in the hand. It's big enough to where I don't feel like I'm choking it. Oh yeah, this is yeah. It's average. But it does be nice. Okay, and then this. Bum, ba, da, bum. These are simply baked red scarlet wood party sticks. Ooh, perfect for cocktails, appetizers, bite-sized desserts, fruits, and more. They it's, look like matchsticks. They're three and a half inches. That's pretty long. We use this every week. We use it for dinner parties. We do like to snack a lot, so these would be great. Ooh, if you had like a, um, uh, a turn, what's it called? A pinwheel? And you were trying to keep it together, you could use these on the Oh, display. a sandwich, too. Oh, if you wanted to make a sourdough, uh mound of sandwich. That's how I like my sandwich. Or you can even use it for many, so say you have a door for no reason, you can make like olives, cheese. Oh, cubes of cheese? Yeah, mm -hmm. just little, little cubes of ham maybe. Oh, that'd be, so, and then you just pop them and eat them. You could put a little work in your, in your little snack. That'd be really, cute. that'd be cute. That'd be really cute for the kids and they think they're getting little kebabs. 
Yeah. They feel pretty sturdy too, actually. Like. Yeah, they feel plastic and not wood, huh? Hmm. Because are these reusable? Yeah, they sure they are. And it says not just for baking. How do you use it for baking, though? Well, you poke it in there for to test it. See how hot it is. Why wouldn't I just use a fork? Because <laughs> most people use a toothpick. Not just for. I do not agree. I, I wouldn't use this for baking. Oh, okay. good. Be sure you don't put them in the oven. Yeah. It's not oven safe. So why would I use it for baking? And what does that make the glue and the dye? No. I guess you use it to prick your cake. <laughs> okay. What's next? Oh, this. This, this is, is a, a colander. Collapsible mini colander. Eight ounces. Oh! If you're rinsing off your little fresh berries Oh, that I could use this for the grapes we had the other day. This would have been perfect. Or if you have just a single <laughs> serving of pasta and you want to drain it, but you don't want to lose too much liquid, so you like this. And that all, this is nice, and since it collapsed, you can actually use it oh, in your in the trailer. Oh. You can take it up to the mountains, use it in your off-grid property. So oh, yeah. That's really nice. Oh, mm -hmm. that is perfectly. Because then it takes up a lot less space. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, if you and have you a big uh, RV, anything, that'd be great for an RV. Ooh. You have a tiny house. That's kind of right. yeah, that's a really single nice. serving, uh, travel. Uh, it's nice. Okay, I'm into that. Take this. Oh, the this whisk. This is a whisk. Scraper bowl thing? Oh, okay, here, let's take it out of the bag. Mm. Rah! Mm -hmm. It's easy to grip. Oh, huh. Well, it's hard to open. <laughs> That it's hard to open. Talk about it, Mom. Read this thing. Oh. Says it's easy grip balloon whisk. Does a fine job whipping and blending. That's my tea. Yeah, that's my tea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I almost got it depackaged. Oh, honey. <laughs> what do I have? Oh, this is a good scraper. See? Yeah. The scraper, when you have your mix, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Most woods don't have this scraper. But how do you think it's going to fare when you have thick stuff to whisk up? Oh, I guess it's pretty. No, oh, it seems like it'll get drug, dragged back. Maybe you do like this. You scrape it? Oh, that's nice though. You have this nice scraper. Oh, I really like this. I'm going to try this out. This is nice. A two-in-one tool. The silicone scraper is like a flexible fin. It's securely attached to one of the metal wires, allowing you to scrape all the goodness. Uh oh. You okay? Yeah. It's okay. What are you doing? Another way. Cabbage, onion, garlic, more garlic, tomato, eggs, and ramen's underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that deliciousness. Look at that broth. Broth has ghee in it. Oh. I'm going to use the ghee to fry up all the vegetables. And shrimp. Delicious. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. This is a silicone herb infuser. Herb infuser. And this will, will replace your cheesecloth that you would normally put your basil or your lemongrass and then add that to your your soup. Now you just put it in here and you put this in the pot. Isn't that a good idea? Because remember we bought those little cheesecloths so we can put our 
seasonings and things in there. And this will prevent the contents from just floating out and around. Yeah, it's reusable, so oh, it yeah. ends up being actually pretty cheaper than um, cheap cloth. Wow! Although the holes are pretty big, but I think you can still but get a little like around the lemongrass. Oh, you, you, can, you can use another, you could use cheap cloth still. Yeah, it. that's pretty cool though. Yeah, that's actually great. And I think that'll make you want to cook more because cheese cloths just sound fancy and difficult. They used it to do cinnamon with cloves and allspice into a slow cooker. Now that would be, when you do your um, allspice, if you make pho, then there are a lot of times that you need a, oh, we should do a pho recipe. When you make pho, you really need to use an infuser for some of the, what is that? Oh, that star spice thing. What is it? Star anise. Yeah, that stuff. Now that one, that would be great for this. We have this. And Ooh, then the next I like one is eat. New England Chicken Stew Mix. Stonewall Kitchen Cafe Classics. It's a New England chicken oh, stew. Oh, you just need to add a few simple ingredients. Some cooked chicken. So you can go to Walmart, get your little chicory chicken. Sometimes they're good. <laughs> add some chicken broth and just your basic staples and you have yourself some soup. And you can add that with your biscuit. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. With those biscuits that we got last time. That would be so delicious. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying this soup now. Oh, it's like it's all freeze dried. Oh, what's it called? Not freeze dried. Dehydrated. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. So you're just going to add it. Oh, that would be so delicious. Mmm. I see peas. What else do you see? I can't see with my glasses. Yeah, those are tomatoes. Those are beans. I don't know what kind of beans they are. I guess I could read the back of it. <laughs> Looks pretty good though. Yeah. We need some soup. That's, oh. all, that's all they have in here. Now the rest of it is just... Uh, oh! Look at we got recipe cards! Oh, I love So, what is it? Bam! Oh, a grilled goat cheese and arugula sandwich? I love we oh, have wow. arugula growing in the backyard yeah. and it's disgusting. Ugh. It's terrible. Our arugula is terrible. It's disgusting. But I guess if we had grilled goat cheese and maybe that would make it good. I, I doubt it. it. I'm not going to try it. Oh wait, they can't see the picture. I'm looking can at the picture. Maybe you can replace that <laughs> arugula with something else. That is the worst lettuce ever. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that probably would be good with spinach. Ooh, slow cooker cider. Mmm, I don't know if I've ever really made cider. I don't know if I want to drink cider. You can have it spiked. Oh, oh French loaves. I love making bread. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bread. That'd be a good one. I think, what is this? Two tablespoons? Oh, it made with yeast. Water, salt, sugar, bread flour, and cornmeal. Okay. Cornmeal's probably oh, for the last part. We just don't need the bread flour because we just have all-purpose flour. Yeah. Ooh, and then loaded mashed potatoes. Ooh. Oh, I love mashed potatoes. I love potatoes. Yummy. Mm, let me see that loaded mashed potato and what's in there. Whip up this new family delight. What did she put in there? Oh, just bacon. Look at that bitch. <laughs> Italian submarine. Ooh. What but is that? I well, let me read what it says. My Italian husband grew up eating this flavorful sandwich, which his mother used to make after Saturday chores were finished. Put the sub together a few hours ahead and refrigerate, then serve with chips, veggies, and dip for a delicious meal. Do they, what's up? That's everyday Italiano. Okay, this is basically a sandwich. Unslice some already cooked bread. Let me stop. <laughs> a French loaf with <laughs> our Italian loaf with yeah, deli meats and mayo. Best foods. It has to be best foods. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love best foods mayo. I it's like delicious. That mayo with the. I, I, I guess I don't care which it is as long as it has the um, olive oil. Oh, you said like olive oil. I'm not oil mixed in it. Tuna ciabatta melts. I do like ciabatta. I want to ciabatta. Oh, you were supposed to make ciabatta bread that day, remember? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I guess they just, 
Oh, you should choose a ciabatta bread. Oh, it's not a ciabatta recipe. This is a tuna mess recipe. And it's one couch of light tuna and water, chopped celery, onion, and red cucumber, mayonnaise, dill wheat, lemon juice, salt, pepper, ciabatta, yeah. We'll have to find a ciabatta recipe. These recipes basically this time are like, really? It's kind of like uh, 30, <laughs> oh, it's like 15 minutes. Yeah, they're just short. The ultimate grilled cheese. Oh, this one's homemade bread, I believe. Oh yeah, that's right, the French loaf was. Oh, so you could make your French loaf and then make mm -hmm. that. And then you'd be more coffee. Oh! Oh, we didn't use our coffee last time yet, did we? Oh, we should use it in a video. And... I uh, want it with roast. Well, at least we got another one. We can make coffee with biscuits. Mmm. Like we were going to. <laughs> 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 But I made those biscuits oh, nonetheless. Soup, but... Ooh, soup, stews, and more. Get cozy, get Ooh. comfy with homemade soup. I do, 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 love soup. Few things soothe the soul, like a piping hot bowl of soup. From classics such as chicken noodle, beef vegetable, and navy beans, to new favorites like carrot, ginger, buffalo chicken, and shredded sweet potatoes. Ooh, shredded sweet potato soup. Purify our successful Look up shredded sweet potato soup. I love sweet potatoes. Uh, 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 I like soup though. I can eat soup, soup all day, every day. Butternut squash. I don't have any soup. Where would it be? A okay. typical conference would it be like under all time classics? No. <laughs> it would be under chilies, cheesy and creamy, beans and untoes, vegetable, vegetarian <laughs> and meatless. Oh, maybe 154. I forgot the question I asked. Uh, <laughs> vegetarian and meatless. Check that out. Oh, we might get some soups out of David now because there's a whole section for him. I'm gonna do it over here. These are these pages are really great. So we're looking for um, shredded sweet potato. Pretty pages. They do have nice cookbook pages. Don't they have nice pictures? Illustrations of it. Oh no, and it's sherry sweet potato soup. It's not shredded, it's sherry. Oh, oh maybe goodness. they're sherry in it. Four large sweet potatoes peeled in cubes, small onion, butter, garlic, cloves, ground cumin, salt, Fresh ginger root, ground coriander, ground cinnamon, ground cardamom, and three cans of chicken broth, heavy whipping cream, sherry, lime juice, and minced fresh cilantro. Look at that deliciousness with that delicious French loaf. Come on! Wow. Yeah, that's it. We need to really make a soup this time. I did. I made that with the, the pumpkin soup. I'm gonna post it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you did make pumpkin soup. Wait, but did I record it? Okay. Not really. Yeah. Dang it. I guess I have to make one for the for the video. That's funny. I dare remember you. Look at that. These recipes. These pictures. You know what? We can make the soup every day. Oh yeah. our special delivery from Taste of Home and I really never had money to burn. I just thought it would be fun to try some new oh. subscriptions and other items. Mom, well, it's just fun. So that's why, but now we've gotten it a couple of times and I want to move on to something new that maybe you thought of, you wanted to try. If you guys have a subscription that you want us to try, we'll try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have anything that you thought, oh, I wonder what comes in this box or that box. They have so many on Facebook now. Yeah, there's a there's lot. So, yeah. Everyone has a box. There's like about 300 different subscriptions 
to try. So I said, well, let's try a couple. I'm kind of bored with it now, but. <laughs> yeah, I have an idea for a subscription box that I want to create for someone to buy. So if you want to buy it, leave a comment and I'll and I'll just send you a sample box out. <laughs> Carter's Tiny Sample Box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How fun. Imagine, you know what's going to be in it is samples of all the samples we've already got. The samples? <laughs> guys, what do you do with all that stuff that you get? Well, the cooking stuff we do use, but we've got jewelry. Yeah. We've got knives now. Face thing. Yeah. Things for face cleanser, bath beads. So if you want a sample box of the sample boxes that we sampled, why don't you send us a sample of your ideas? <laughs> hey, 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 that's funny. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us. Like, um, comment, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe and watch our next video. Why are you doing this? <laughs>